All right, let's make some money. Joining us now, Dave Bonson, managing partner of the Bonson Group. Mr. Bonson, welcome. Economically sensitive stocks. That's what the Wall Street Journal lead story is saying today. Is that the place to be, economically sensitive stocks? Well, it's been the place to be for about the last six months. It's been uh, all those names that were kind of out of favor last year through COVID, through the summer, kind of all the names that weren't big tech. And all of a sudden, the tech stuff has slowed down and you've had those cyclical names doing quite well. So that means what? Are the cyclical names not economic sensitive? Well, I think it's sort of different sector by sector. And so that categorization is fair and it's a good way to look at it. The journal article was helpful, but I kind of would look at it another way. And that is those things that were out of favor versus those things in favor. Some of them are cyclical, some aren't. But last year, everyone thought apparently that no one was ever going to get on an airplane again or go in an automobile again, that we would never need oil or gas again. All of a sudden, the highest performing sector year to date in the stock market is what? Energy. And, and that's with a very energy unfriendly president, as you know. That's just I think the financial going. sector. They were taught. Let's, let's stay with energy. Billions of dollars of loan loss reserves in the banks last year. All of a sudden now they're having record profits and, and the yield curve has widened a little bit, not much. The financials, energy, those sectors look good. They were totally out of favor a year ago. So I just think there's been kind of a, a natural rotation in the market. Call it growth value. But I, I really like what the market has done here. How high is oil going to go, David? Well, if it does go uh, much above 75, that won't be for a good reason. You know, here in the high 60s, it's because the economy is humming again. It's because there's a lot of global demand. A lot of it is U.S., but, you know, China's demand is quite high right now as well. If you start getting above 75, 80, it starts to look more inflationary. And it looks like we shut down too many rigs and couldn't get them back online quick enough to meet the supply need. That goes against the story of, amen of American energy independence. That would not be a good story, Larry. All right. That's the story we have to cover in much greater depth. David Bonson, we'll have you back yeah. soon. As you know, thanks very much. All right, folks, we're going to come right back. He likes energy and financial stocks.